Hey guys, Jason with Crane Creek. As you can see, I got my sidekick here. Her official name is Mackenzie, but we call her Shug. Uh, I got asked, uh, it's been a while back, but uh, about filling out new puppy papers. And that's what we're going to go over today. Um, somebody asked, I, I don't remember who it was because it's been a, a little while back. And uh, somebody asked, could we could I do a video showing how to fill them out? Well, at the time, I already had uh, Hank and Cowboys papers filled out. And we've had the new litter of uh, puppies. Um, and Suge is going to be keeping one of the puppies. So um, it's going to be hers. So we're, we're going to go over her puppy papers and and kind of go step by step of how to fill them out that way if there's any questions uh about it you know you can kind of look at it I, we're, i'm not perfect at it but uh i kind of can feel my way through it it's, it's not too difficult but uh yeah, hopefully somebody will get something out of this video and uh if not we still give us a thumbs up still subscribe we appreciate it but we'll be right back and uh, get started right after this word from our sponsor Guys, if you're needing something for your wife or girlfriend or just something for your house, go see my friends over at Rusty Cotton Design Company. They can fix you up. Check them out on Etsy. It's that time of year where we're all in the woods. Make sure you've got a light you can depend on. Go see my friends over at sunspotlights.com. Tell Michael Jason at Crane Creek sent you. All right, guys, we've been using Dogtra for a while now, and I'll tell you, I really, really like it, uh, even more so than the Garmin I was using. So go over and check my friends out at dogtra.com. Make sure you use that promo code CCK5 at checkout to receive a discount. All right, guys, so um, whenever you get your puppy, uh, you're going to have a paper that looks like this. Um, it's just it's going to have, um, you know, what breed it is. English Coonhound. Um, it's going to have the date of birth on it. It's going to have the, the sex of it, whether it's female or male. And it's going to have the puppy's UKC number. Um, it will have the sire, which is the dad, the dam, which is the mother's name on it. And it will have their UKC number on it. Um, then in um, doing this, it will say indicate your dog's color right here um and it will on our english it has blue tick blue tick red tick red tick tricolor tricolor with tick white black white black with tick white red white red with tick and then other and it also has a uh, tattoo or microchip number place for that um, but when you open this up, it has, uh, all this here, kind of like a bill of sale that you would fill out for buying a vehicle or, or something like that. It has, uh, the seller's name that you would put, the date, um, and then it has this line number two there is going to be the uh the buyer the the new new owner you'd print their name there put their address uh their phone number email address and all that then um right here is where it says step three color of dog right here and then right below that on step four if you can see that um you see these blocks here that's where you would put the name that you want the dog to be called in right here and we're, we're going to go through this and fill this out so this is going to take more than just a minute or two to do but and we're going to kind of show you uh suge has picked the name out for the dog and uh she'll get it put on here but I, real quick i just want to go through this so as we fill it out i can kind of show you and you kind of know where we're at then uh if you turn it over you can uh, see here there's there's more steps here um, step five all this is optional if you wanted to have a successor so say if something happened to you somebody the dog registration would go to step six is you can choose um, what package you want to get and a lot of this is based on uh, the dog's age so a dog up to one year old is cheaper of course than a dog that's over a year old and the price just kind of goes up you can get a three generation a four generation a six generation and a seven generation pedigree 
on them. And then down here, they have, um, I don't know if you can see that, additional services. Um, kind of sees through the paper with the light. But they have next day air. That means you can pay $60 extra dollars and have your paperwork shipped back to you the next day after they receive them on a business day. You can do the expedited service. I did do expedited with these puppy papers. <clears throat> and after everything got confirmed, you have to go um, through this co confirming process of the um, sire and the dam. After all that's done, I had the puppy papers back within three days. So I know people's had issues with getting their paperwork back with UKC, but if you use the expedited or they have a rush that is a little bit cheaper, I've had good luck with both of those getting my papers back within a week. So um, if if that's something you're having a problem with, that's pretty good. Uh, you can get your pedigree shipped in a tube. I, I've never done that. I don't know what that's for. It's like an extra $15. Um, you can get a UKC pedigree binder, uh, and with five inserts, um, that's 40 bucks. You can get five additional binder inserts is $8. You can get an extra easy entry card if you was to need it. Um, and you can get an easy entry card holder. Then at the very, very bottom down here, this part right here, this is where you would put your credit card information in or where you would, you know, if you wasn't using a credit card, it tells you who to make check out, whatever. So anyway, that's that's the UKC papers. So um, we're, Suge's going to fill these out. But real quick, this is the PKC temporary puppy papers. So we're, we're going to fill both of these out. And it's kind of the same thing. It tells the sex, the date of birth, the breed, uh, red tick, um, and then it has the sire of the dam, the sire's PKC number, the dam PKC Warner number, and then it has the sire and dam's earnings if they had, how many puppies they've had, and the pup earnings, which is all zero. Then it has the, um, the uh, six month expiration date in this box right here. And then it goes through about the puppies being super stakes or not. And um, that's all of this information, which these puppies are not. And then you turn it over and it's literally a bill of sale. So at the top you have the seller signatures and their PKC account number. And you got to make sure that number is on there. Um, then right here you have the new owner and their account number. If you're not a PKC member, I think it's, I don't know, 15 bucks, 20 bucks or something, you can you can do that while um, you're filling these out and send it in. So what you would do, uh, what I did uh, to renew mine last, last year, maybe, I don't remember. Anyways, whenever I sent Rangers papers in, I, re I, I re-up mine. I was a member years ago and I, I had let it go, but I still was able to re-up. I kept the same number. And then this year I just renewed. But so what you can do is once you get all this filled out, that has the breakdowns on the fees right here. And it's theirs is certification fees with pups with the OPS prefix and certification for fees for pups with the OLS prefix. And what that means is if you turn back around on the front of this page, the puppy's PKC number is right there. And it, see this one says OP. So we would be using the OP prefix on this side here for the pricing. So you can register them with a DNA sample on file. Um, you can do it with a DNA profile, which is, it's not on file, it's actual profile. And that is less than six months, 160, 195. Then you can, um, Come over here to the OLS, and that is uh, the permanent registration, same thing with a sample on file or the DNA profile, which is much cheaper. Transfer of ownership and permanent registration. Permanent registration only before six months is 15 bucks through PKC. So if you were just doing that and you needed to also become a PKC member, you would um, put make your check out for $15. And then you would put right here total paid 
30 bucks and you put your credit card information here you can mail a check also um because it's 15 bucks to register for pkc you can send that in and i think what i did was i just called them i added the extra 15 bucks and um i put a little sticky note on the papers whenever i wanted to re-up and said the extra 15 dollars is for my pkc membership so um you call them to verify that you can still do that that's what i did uh, a year ago i literally just took a sticky note to the papers uh suge is not a pkc member but um she will be when we send these in okay so real quick now uh we're gonna go through this i'm gonna put my uh my information in um up here because i'm the owner of on the papers of star so in step one right here we're going i'm going to sign my name which you won't be able to read and today is 10 23 of 2021 so in step one that's what it's going to look like my name's going to be here you're going to put the date there so if you're buying the puppy you want to make sure this is signed by the person you're buying the puppy from Trust me, I've, I've come home and this not be signed. Make sure that's signed. Now, um, Suge is going to fill this out. Print your name there, Pam. She's going to uh, put her name on here and then she'll sign it. And then we'll have to fill out our address. Um, we'll, we'll leave the address part out for right now for, for time's sake to, so we can show you everything else so we don't spend a lot of time uh, in the video. You can kind of figure it out, sign your name like in cursive <clears throat> um, so once you have the step two filled out so see she has her name and then you sign it here and then underneath here this is just be your home address your shipping address with your email and all that so now we're gonna move on to step three so the puppy she is keeping in step three you're gonna go back to this box right here it has the codes on it right there 73 I don't know if you can see those are small number codes we're going to pick the code that best fits the puppy that she's keeping which is going to be the red tick code so put a check right there beside that and put number 84 right there okay so this is what you do you put the check beside that if you can see it and then you come right here on step three number 84 that's the code okay now write your dog's name that you want there make sure you skip a space in between yeah, but Clank Creek. Uh, yeah. so now we're, we've got the my name as the seller she has her name and address on there she's got the dog color code we checked it on the front now she is going to fill out um, the dog's name that you want for um, your dog, whatever that would be. Um, if you just put um, Bob on there for the dog's name, they're gonna put your last name automatically in front of it, just so you're aware of that. So if you have a kennel name, like our, our uh, name is uh, Crane Creek, um, you would fill, you put Crane Creek in there and then whatever else you want as the name. Okay, so she chose Crane Creek Red Hot Ruby. So this is the way it would look. You put Crane Creek, Red Hot, and then Ruby. You want to leave spaces in between that um, name. So then we're going to come over here on the back, part five. It will not be filled out. I don't ever fill that out. If, if you feel like you need to, fill that out. And then what we will do is we'll just come down here. We'll pick the package that she wants to get. We'll check it. Any other services we want to get, we'll do that, and then we'll send it in. And that's pretty much it. That's that's. I mean, it sounds like a lot, but it, but it really is not. Um, that it's pretty simple to fill out UKC papers. Um, now we're going to fill out the PKC papers. Let me see that. So um, I'm gonna sign it. And again, make sure. I don't know my account number right off my head top of my head but uh i will uh i'll get it and make sure it's put on there and the date is 
the 23rd. So you want to make sure when you get these papers, you want to flip it over and you want to make sure this is signed and there's a date there and the seller's PKC account number is there. You want to make sure those things are on there because you get home and this is not signed. Um, you're going to have to get this took care of. So don't don't forget to over don't get excited and getting the new puppy and forget to make sure that's signed because if it's at least that signed you can fill the rest of this out you don't have to fill it out while you're there. Okay, so I'll put the PKC number on there later. So your name goes there. Just write it. Um, so now she's going to put her name on there, and then she does she she does not have an account with PKC right now. She will after we get this filled out. Um, and then go ahead and put Crane Creek Red Hot Ruby in there. And then we, you don't have to, uh, like star her, uh, I've got another one here. This one is for Jewel, the puppy I'm keeping. So star's name on her PKC papers is Ringo Superstar. But on her UKC papers, it's completely different. It's still star, but it's something different. I don't, I don't remember now. So, um, okay, right here's my PKC number. I just found it. It goes right there. So, write it, write it right there. It's fifty-one one hundred five. Okay, so same deal as before. The little blocks right here. You put the. Uh, puppy's name that you choose in there now i'm not sure with pkc if you just put ruby if they'll put anything else in front i know that is with ukc and then uh my pkc number was on the front of the page i forgot so we got that in there so what we'll do is now suge will fill out the rest of this put her address in the account number will stay blank we're going to get the uh 15 registration on ruby and we'll add uh, well, I, she'll be a youth, so I'll have to call on uh, Monday and see. But for a non-youth, I think it's $15. We'll add that in there if that's what it, what it is. And then she'll be a PKC member, and she's got her papers filled out. And then we will put these in the mail to Evansville and the other ones in the mail to Michigan. And um, they'll come back, and the dog will be in her name. And also... Um, and this may be important to you, may not. This is a litter tracking form that comes from PKC that you could just put the mail, uh, the who you sold them to, so you have an idea. And then um, UKC sends you the same thing, um, where you can have the new owners sign it and put their, or they can put their name, their address. So you kind of have a record of where the puppies went, which I don't think is a bad idea, especially if you're trying to. Uh, breed dogs and uh, kind of keep up with what the puppies are doing but um, that's that's pretty much it the these UKC papers are probably a little bit more complicated than um, the other ones but they're they're still not too bad Ho hopefully you kind of get the gist of what it takes to uh, fill it out it's, it's not very complicated to do um, and hopefully hopefully this helps somebody if you if you are having a hard time and when it comes to especially like with English dogs when it comes to this down here uh, on the color just don't overthink it just uh, you know try to get as close as as you can to what you think the color of the dog is um, the the ruby puppy she's keeping is pretty much a ticked up puppy huh yeah yeah she's she's kind of ticked up all over she's kind of white faced she's a lot white but she has yeah. like Wet spots. Yeah, and she, wet. she has a uh, one one patch over one eye, the other side's white face. So, um, so yeah, red tick fits her pretty good. But now Jewel, which her, Jewel's papers uh, with UKC, when you register your litter, um, at the time we were keeping Jewel, we knew that we were unsure about Ruby at the time. But when you register your litter, say if you're going to keep all of them or if you're gonna keep one of them or two of them, or whatever, you can go ahead and permanent register the dog when you're registering the litter and you don't have to deal with this. You can just go ahead and do the permanent register and you get permanent register papers back on them, which I did with Jules. 
So now Mackenzie will be sending these in, and when she gets these back, they'll be permanent register on Ruby. Um, but so with with Jewel, she ended up being a tricolor English. So we would have with her. You can see there. There's a tricolor option. That's what I put for her. But uh, anyway, that's that's pretty much it on the papers. We're gonna do another video. Um, uh, probably maybe tomorrow uh, afternoon or something where we can get one of the puppies in here so we can kind of show you in the light. Ever heard of a umbilical cord? Cornea. Hernia. I'll keep them treated.